guys, Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson here on the floor of Gamescom to talk Sunset Overdrive with Ryan Schneider, James Stevenson from Insomniac Games. Now, what do you guys do? Talk to me about what your individual roles are at Insomniac. Sure. I'm Ryan Schneider. I'm our brand development director at Insomniac Games. I'm responsible for all of our studio marketing, community, and public relations work. Right on. And I'm James Stevenson, the community lead. You'll find me on Twitter, at James Stevenson, tweeting about Insomniac stuff. You guys are out here at Gamescom. What are you guys showing? So we've been showing a bunch of new stuff. We released a new trailer with a ton of new uh, enemies that showed our Fizco robots. We had about seven new enemies in Sunset Overdrive we revealed here at Gamescom. And people are getting hands-on with our amusement park build. Uh, that you may have seen at E3, and also our Chaos Squad eight-player co-op mode. Let's talk about the amusement park. What was the inspiration there? I mean, could it have been an amusement park? One of the main tenets of Sunset Overdrive is actually fun trumps realism. So what could be more fun than an amusement park? Uh, there's a lot of bizarreness in the world of Sunset Overdrive, and that's what we're celebrating. The end of time does not have to suck. Well, that's true. Now, I want to be clear. This is an amusement park. Are there clowns? I'm deathly afraid of clowns. So I am I, too! Yes! Customization is critical in Sunset Overdrive, so if you wanted to dress up looking somewhat like a clown, you could probably do that. Are you, he already told me he's dressing up as a clown. No, not as a clown. No yeah. clowns allowed. So we've seen a little bit of the amusement park, yep. and there was a great boss in there. In fact, the guy who was driving died three times. It's kind of hard. The boss you're talking about is the Herker, and the Herker has a giant bulldozer fused together as his arm, and he can throw hunks of debris. He will chase you all over the map, uh, sometimes he'll even throw OD mutants at you, the overcharged drinkers. He is ruthless and deadly. Some of the things you've been showing off here at Gamescom is the extreme customization. That's right. And there's a, you can really own it, right? How about right. we got a kangaroo cod piece for crying out loud? What more do you want to know? Uh, <laughs> sounds like a lot of fun. What else are you guys showing out here? So we, like I said, we have a ton of new enemies. So there's our Fizco robots, which you may have seen in our new trailer. Um, that's the third enemy faction in the game. They're really ruthless. They jump around. They follow you from rooftop to rooftop. They have a lot of ranged attacks. They're really powerful, and they kind of require different tactics to beat than the mutants. We also showed a bunch of new mutants. So there's the spawner mutant who has a dumpster on his back that Moro D keep jumping out of while he's still alive. There's the uh, Gunker mutants. They shoot uh, free stuff onto your grind rail. So if you're just thinking you can grind around with impunity, no, these guys will stop you from grinding and force you to kind of keep moving and changing your traversal up. We also have the wingers who fly around, spawn little enemies, and have some serious attacks that also affect the grinds too. So some really cool new enemies at the show In as well. In addition to all of that that you're showing, you're also, we've also announced an Xbox One. Let's talk about that. It's bright and it's white. People have coveted the white Xbox One for a long time, myself included. Right. So it's really, really special to have, you know, an Xbox One that comes with a download copy of the game for $399. Uh, it's beautiful. It's white. It comes with a white controller. And it uh, complements the brightness of the game because the game is just off the charts in hey, terms of brightness. White's a reflection of the totality of all colors. So isn't it appropriate that it should be the console of choice for Sunset Overdrive? Why, yes, it is, Ryan. There Why, yes, it is. All right, Sunset Overdrive, what do you want to leave some folks with? Sunset Overdrive takes the dreary concept of the end of times apocalypse, flips it on its head, smashes it to pieces, and brings you a fresh new experience for an open world shooter. All right, Ryan and James, thank you so much from Insomniac Games. We'll see you next time. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up.